Yeah, uh, Villa fan. I just want to comment on the um, the whole diving and contact going down. I mean, the, the way I see it is it's it, it's not a non-contact sport. So just because there's contact doesn't necessarily deem it a foul. I mean, the Foden one, I, I do think it, it was a foul. But um, the fact that he tried to stay on his feet, I, I, I commend him. I think it's it's good for the integrity of the game. People go on about it's last minute and they need a point or if the crew's in, they should stay on his feet. If they need the point, he should go down. I think all players should try and stay on the feet because VAR should intervene and, and make the correct decisions. So VAR should be there to make the correct decisions. It's not it's not up to the player to, to go down that if, he, if he can stay on his feet. That's the, that's but there's no, he, doesn't have to, he doesn't have to stay on his feet. If there's enough contact that he's been impeded, okay, he's been impeded. Okay, the, that's the key here. Do, players go down. Jack Grealish is the best at it. He feels a, a, a tap, he goes down, he's impeded, and he wins a free kick. It's a free kick. He has to go down to win it. If he stays on his feet, or tries to stay on his feet, and the ball is then taken off him, or he gives the ball away, the referee's not going to give you a free kick. Well, that's where VAR needs to intervene. But, I mean, but, it, but free it, kicks, VAR is not going to intervene in the middle of the park. Isn't that, that's not going to happen. In the penalty box, though, if if, if the contact's been made, the player well, hasn't gone down. Stuart, the, rest, the, the rest should be able to, to look at it and say, oh, let, let's check on the VAR. VAR should be able to see. Stuart, the, prob- then, the problem is, is us, the football fan, because I'm going to ask you a question now, and you can only answer it one way. Last day of the season, Aston Villa playing whoever, minute on the clock. If they win the game, Aston Villa, they, they get top four. Jack Green is clean through, gets that knock that Foden got tonight. Would you advise him to drop to the floor like a sack of spuds to get the penalty, or would you say try and stay on your feet and not get the penalty? I, I honestly, honestly, I think try and stay on your feet because I think it's the way the game should be played. I don't like people going down. So you're gonna, you'd miss out on Champions League football. What do you mean? Sorry, uh, sorry, are you taking stupid pills? What do you mean it's the way the game should be played? Why should you have to stay on your feet? Tell me why, when you've been fouled, you've been fouled. Why should you stay on your feet? Because it's not, an, it's not, it's a contact sport, isn't it? So yes, but you've been fouled. So why should you stay on your feet? If there's contact and you're able to keep playing and staying upright, you should. What about, if, what about if you're pushed in the back so hard, yet your feet keep going, you keep going, and one of those where you're stumbling, you manage to stay on your feet? Should you stay on your feet or should you go down? If you're being pushed and there's a lot of contact and you can't physically stand up... No, 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 you can, but you're, really, you're, you're, like, you're doing a silly run just to stay on your feet. Should you stay on your feet? Because you, you're trying to stay on your feet. And if you, if you go down, you'll get a penalty. I, I, I believe this player should try and stay on the feet. Why? Because it's it, it's vital to the game. You have young no, it's not. Children watching. No, it's not vital to the young, game. You have young children watching. So what? Young children. Tell young that. children. You can speak to them. Don't blame. Don't blame footballers for young children's behaviour. But people look at them as role models, don't they? Well, you should tell them that, that what he's done is wrong. And if you, if there's slight contact and people are diving around everywhere, that I don't, well, it happens. It's going to happen. I don't get. I don't it, get this. Tr- it, sure, should stand his feet. Sure, it's, I, it's absolute. It's it's rubbish. Sure, it, I, I I agree with you. I don't want to see it in the game. But sadly, at the same time, I contradict myself when I say if it's the final of the Euros and it's Harry Kane or Jack Grealish, and there's a chance that he could go down and get a penalty with the slightest touch to win the Euros for us, I'd want him to go. It pains me to say it. it I feel horrible and dirty for saying it. I'd want him to go down and get the penalty so he win the Euros. And I don't believe, Stuart, that and, and if Jack you, Grealish went I don't believe him. You would as well, Stuart. I don't believe you. Wouldn't you? No, I wouldn't, mate. Uh, I don't mind you don't believe me. No, I don't believe you, Stuart, because because you're, you know if Jack Grealish goes down, you're going to get a penalty. It's a foul. It's a foul, but he stays on his feet. You'd rather that. It's a foul, but you'd rather... What happened tonight oh, with, with are Foden? You, are you saying a ref never gives a foul if the player... I'm saying tonight's scenario, happens. with tonight's scenario with Phil Foden... He, Jack Grealish is going through. Last minute. You need this. He need a penalty to make sure he get top four. Would you rather he stayed on the ground or did what Phil Foden did and try to get up and play on? The ref can still give a, a No, penalty. he didn't tonight. We've seen no, that. No, tonight's scenario. Going by exactly what happened tonight. The ref can still give a penalty. Yeah, but he didn't. He, he, didn't. he didn't tonight. We're, we're going on tonight's scenario. So we know for a fact the penalty wasn't given. But that's VAR. I should be looking at it. And chat yes, and I, and I know, but Stuart... But Stuart, going, going on what happened tonight and only what happened tonight, we know he stayed on his feet, we know it was a foul, and we know he didn't get a penalty. So judging... If he'd, sta- if he'd stayed down, who knows the foul would have given it as a penalty. Well, you, you've got more chance of it. 
I, I don't know. I've looked at it. Whatever. I, I agree with you. I think it was a pen. Yeah, yeah. But what, but what would your advice be? Would you rather Grealish goes down, you get the penalty, you score a goal, and you get Champions League football, or he stays on his feet and you miss out on top four? What would oh, you? You don't know if it would have been given. No, but I'm, I'm I'm asking you that. That's my question. So my question is this: Would you rather Jack Grealish gets a, a, a knock on the back, goes down in the box, gets a penalty, scores it, and you get Champions League football, or he stays on his feet and you finish fifth? Uh, that's that's a silly way of asking. I oh, know, but I, I've asked it. So, what's your answer? If he could stay on his feet, he could. Unbelievable. Okay. Un- so un- you miss un- out on Champions League. Unbelievable. Yeah? Unbelievable.